This video talks about production monitoring for the press commander and the remote touch screen display. We start out by entering in the shift production time number, which is the maximum number of minutes the shift would have the press in production. It's the best case scenario. Right now it's 400 minutes. We can go and change that value. Let's say 200 minutes and the maximum pr maximum production rate of 100 parts here we could change that make it uh, 110 parts so that affects availability performance based on runtime and the combination of downtime and standby time down here you see the parts rate of production which at this time is about 5,000 parts per hour but that's based on the fact we did 191 parts in just under two minutes but we've had 16 minutes of downtime which is affecting our production rate. That in turn affects the performance rate which is going down as we sit idle. That'll go up when we start to produce more parts. Availability also goes down as we stand by that'll go up as we produce more parts. We can also go and enter in downtime reasons like waiting for material, waiting for material. That is a downtime reason that'll affect your downtime. When you're done, you can either choose another one or put it back in production. And then we can arm the press. Cycle it. That'll make the production rate start to climb slowly at first until it overcomes the fact we've had 17 minutes or 18 minutes total downtime. And like I said, availability will is uh, going to go down because that's based on the amount of time in the shift, and we've wasted 18 minutes of that already out of the 200 minutes and all that gets recorded into the Excel spreadsheet file. And that's it.